I've been putting off making this video because I was like, I don't exactly have my life together. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Probably one of the hardest and most important lessons that I've had to learn, especially coming from somebody who has had perfectionism and fear of failing problems. I mean, I am Asian. It is not like our culture is known for like being okay with failure. <laughs> I've learned, however, that the more mistakes you make, the more you learn. Honestly, messing up is probably one of the best ways to learn because you need that pain from messing up for you to not ever do it again. And sometimes you don't even know you're making a bad decision until after it's made. <laughs> you just had to go out, try to see for yourself and be like, okay, that was a bad call. Maybe you shouldn't have done that. Won't do that again next time and anybody who does hold your mistakes against you really should not be in your life you you can't grow around those kind of people i would say that when you're young that this is the best time to make mistakes if you can learn things at a much younger age it can set you up for a better life later on and sometimes you just have to really go through the bad experience to never do it again <laughs> And unfortunately, sometimes you have to do that multiple times <laughs> until it gets to a certain point where you're just so fed up with yourself and you're just like, fuck this, I'm not doing this anymore. Learning how to adapt is a very important skill because sometimes, you know, you think you'd be liking stuff and then all of a sudden time passes and like those feelings start fading. Things don't feel like they used to feel anymore. You used to be into certain things and you're not, you don't like them anymore. You're like, what's going on? Like, what's happening to me? <laughs> it's very dangerous to tie your self-worth into external things because once those things change, fade, don't do it for you anymore, it can be harder to bounce back as opposed to having the mindset of no matter what happens, happens, I got this. Those things don't give me power, I'll give me power. It's like a whole different kind of confidence. That's why making mistakes is very important because life is hard. It's rough out there. <laughs> and so you need to learn how to get back up. And the more times you get back up, the more confident you will feel. No problem with spending your money, all right? Because I remember when I first started making money, oh my God, I could not wait. It was so exciting to like go shopping, to buy things with the money I made. However, you just don't wanna dig a hole too deep for yourself that you can't get out of years later. If you could have less of a hole and just like build a foundation of money, I swear, yo, I'm telling you, it's gonna really help you out. Especially if you are somebody who doesn't know what you wanna do with your life, what path to take. It's fine, just make money and make sure you're saving it because once you figure those things out, it's so much easier to like do them. <laughs> I think it's also because I've always saved money since I was a kid. Like I would save my Chinese New Year money. <laughs> I just knew from a very young age how much pain not having money can cause. Whoever said money does not buy happiness is a liar. Money gives you independence, stability, and security. It is very much a big part of life and that's why you gotta be smart with not only how you make it, but how you manage it and what you do with it. I don't know what to tell you. Mary in the first day who says you're pretty. You fuck dumb. You don't marry dumb. And that's the thing about like, say the education system. I can do the corporate finance courses and then work at Bank of America, Merrill Lynch and work at all these like big firms, but they're not teaching me how to live my life as an individual and how to manage my finances as an individual. And actually in the bank, so many people who work there are in debt. Like they were like, I used to see people, they're using their credit cards, they were struggling financially and they were on high salaries, but they're living beyond their means. So as soon as they made money, like they were spending more than they had. Like it was crazy. So even in that industry, I think they were worse off because they felt like they had to keep up with everybody else. When I was younger, I only ever really thought of myself in context to somebody. I was not, as you would say, the main character. Another pitfall of mine was that I was a people pleaser. I didn't know how to stand up for myself or enforce my own boundaries. And if you are like that, I highly recommend being even more careful of who you get yourself involved with because the wrong person is 100% gonna take advantage of that aspect of you. You have to be prepared because mm -hmm. if you're not prepared, then you're stuck. And more women have to accept lifestyles that are unpleasant
because they are financially stuck. So if you're smart, you teach your daughters, teach your granddaughters, everybody has to have something that they're good at where they can earn a living. I think if you don't know how to be alone, you're just setting yourself up for codependency. And you might even be willing to like settle for somebody who is not necessarily like the best or honestly does anything for you. Maybe even just like neutral. Like, I don't know if you ever met people like that where you're like, well, I didn't really get anything out of that. I feel like when you're not afraid of being alone and you really truly are working on creating a better relationship with yourself, it attracts like higher quality people. If anything, work on your friendships. Don't get lazy with your friends. Your friends are literally like the anchors of helping you get through life. If you are in the wrong relationship and you got no friends, no family, I feel like it would be much harder to leave. It's very empowering knowing that there are people out there who care about you besides this one person. I do think it's way easier to be alone when you've just been around so many people who've mistreated you, took you for granted. That kind of energy is just not worth it. It should be mutual. I've always liked working. I remember I could not wait to find a job and start making my own money. But when it came to jobs, I think one of the biggest mistakes was not knowing when to quit. One of the worst places I've worked at that I hated the most was ironically the one that looked the best on my resume. It was really stressful because there was so much pressure from people on top and it would just trickle down to the people on the bottom. I only worked there max maybe nine to 10 months. I tried to make it to a year, but I couldn't do it. And still that was enough time for like other people to see the name on the resume and be like, oh, you work there, come work here. I think also like working should be like dating. You should not commit too fast too soon. I think it's always good to like look at and see what's out there. Look, I don't think you need to love your job, but I think you need to like it enough. Enough to do it, enough where you can still live your life outside of it and it won't take such a toll on you mentally because it's just, it's not worth it. You gotta be smart, acknowledge what you're worth and go out there and find it. The more things you learn, I feel like the more value you bring to yourself and what you bring to the table. Sometimes it's up to you to make your own path. Life is just not gonna hand you the life that you want. You have to go out of your way to like make it happen. And because we have internet, it's way easier to do that now because you can learn the things and the skills that you need to create the life that you want for yourself. I also find that it makes life so much more exciting because yo, I don't know about you, but I get bored. Like I feel like life gets boring. And that's what I like about learning is just it really makes life more exciting and it makes you feel really good about yourself when you learn something new and you're like oh, I am so smart <laughs> I think also the older you get like the stronger and more brave you are which is really nice like a good feeling because I was so different when I was younger and I never thought I could be like the person who I am today and I'm really excited to like see who I'm going to become <laughs> I think that is probably one of the best parts about life is like when you can surprise yourself and you start doing things you never thought you would ever do before. Life is really not what I thought it was gonna be. I feel like I'm like, damn, I was not prepared for this. Um, but you know what? I am trying my best. And if that's not good enough for other people, then that's on them, you know what I mean? Like, uh, that's not my fault. <laughs> but yeah, until next time, bye.